Hello fellow Minecraftians, Lost here with another tutorial, this time on the sawmill from Thermal Expansion. Now this is running or being powered by a redstone energy cell via redstone energy conduit. I have a separate tutorial on this if you're interested. But the sawmill will accept any form of MJ power, Minecraft jewels, so any buildcraft power, except redstone uh, engines because they're not much good for anything other than pumps and pipes, although I've said that quite a few times so far. Um, it needs two Minecraft jewels per tick to work at full operational speed. And also you can change the direction that it faces using a crescent hammer or build craft wrench. And you don't need to any special tools to pick it up, just pick it up with a pickaxe. Nice and simple. Okay, inside the GUI on this, the left here, you have the internal storage buffer for power. It holds 2,400 Minecraft jewels, and it um, uses a max speed of 2 MJ per tick. Have I said that already? Possibly. Anyway, the input slot is blue here, as you can see. Also, it has fully configurable input and output slots on the su all sides, except the face, the same as all the other thermal expansion machines. So you can set this up to pipe in or out any way you like. At the moment it's set to pipe in from this side. But what does a sawmill do? Well, basically with power, uh, one log would normally give you four planks. In the sawmill you should get six and a piece of sawdust. So pop a few of those in there. So early game you will be reproducing your wood pretty quickly. But with a Steve's Cart tree farm you really don't need to be running any of these it would just be a waste of time but they are handy and I shall show you why in a second now if you get eight sawdust you can reuse those in a crafting grid like so to produce a compressed sawdust uh, oh, we can chuck it in this if you if you smelt it in a furnace any furnace you will get a piece of charcoal so it is extra so not only are you getting oh it's gone straight through the system very slowly. Anyway, yep, you will get a piece of charcoal out of the sawdust, so it's not a complete waste. Um, it outputs on two sides, so the red and the yellow here. So your main by your main uh, product will come through the red. Your byproduct will go through the yellow. Again, you can set those to input and output from any side into any container. If we pop that there, all the red stuff. Will disappear. Oh, I've already got rid of all the red stuff. Anywho. Uh, what else can it be used for apart from this, which is kind of redundant as I said? Well, you can dismantle things. So if you dismantled a bookcase, you would get, uh, I think you get all of your planks back. Let's see, yeah, all six planks, but your byproduct would be the books. Again, you could adjust it or use pipes and have your byproduct come out there instead. Is this set to give out the bottom? It is. Okay, other things you could do. Beds. There's an awful lot of things you can feed into this, but if you popped a bed in, you would obviously get your wool as well as planks back. There we go, the wool goes out the bottom, planks have gone in there. If you've got an abundance of jukeboxes, which is unlikely, but that would be a very good use for a sawmill, as you can reclaim your diamonds, which is fantastic. Now, as I said, they're not particularly useful machines. I personally have never ever built one in a survival situation and I probably never will. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd let you have a spotlight on it. Have fun guys!